and to the corridors of justice. Most of the companies awarded tenders in the 588 million shillings fraud case facing former Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waititu did not meet the requirements of the Public Procurement and Asset Disposal Act. A supply chain and management expert, Justice Kinoti, also testified that the particulars of some of the companies awarded tenders were fictitious. Former Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waititu, his wife, former County Chief Officer for Roads Luka Mwangi, six county employees, businessman Charles Chege and his wife Beth Wangeshi, are facing charges of money laundering in relation to irregular award of contracts worth 588 million shillings for road repairs. In his testimony, a supply chain expert, just as Kinoti, noted that only one of the companies complied with the Procurement and Asset Disposal Act. Most of those awarded the tender had also presented fake documents before Kiambu County Government's Tender Committee. The document is a sequence manual, a sequence order from the first page to the last page. And meanwhile, the hearing of the 700 million shillings National Youth Service draft case against Krinyaga Governor Anwe Guru and other accused persons has been pushed to the 20th to the 22nd of March. This is due to an application by the defense after witnesses failed to show up in court today. The Chief Magistrate Wendy Micheni granted the application but also discouraged such applications on the hearing day. The case continues. Lynn Charlo for Prime Edition.